This ne- do we have time for this next one? It excites me. Yeah. I set a fire in my dorm room trying to microwave a Red Lobster cheesy biscuit. Yep. It's wild that we talked about Red Lobster twice. That is wild. Okay. Um, and then I had Red Lobster last time. How was it? Was mm. it shrimp? Shrimp? Uh, shrimp fries? Their Brussels sprouts are pretty banging. Okay. Oh, I like a Brussels sprout. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I you know I love the biscuits. They call me Cheddar Bay Jay. Yeah, they around, do. Around this of course. Park. Uh, but the Brussels sprouts are surprisingly on point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you for listening. Except, um, hey, Red Lobster never disappoints, except when it does. Yep. <laughs> and when they fall, they oh, fall shit. hard, baby. Fire and ice, Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> My RA said I have to wait here until the fire department comes. <laughs> I haven't had dinner and I'm very hungry. The only food I have in my room... <laughs> My dorm are microwave meals and a few r- remaining Red Lobster cheesy biscuits. Do I risk putting food back in the device that's already destroyed one biscuit so far, or do I accept my accept my fate of spending the evening hungry? That's from starving student. I bet you any amount of money the biscuits come in like a metal lined bag for the oven. Uh, okay, I bet you any amount of money they microwaved it. Any amount. That's I just possible. love this. Like, all right, so tell me again what happened. Uh, yeah, I, I microwaved the biscuit and it caught fire. No, I know. Yeah, but then the second fire? Oh, <laughs> what did the right, second, right. Did right, the right, second right, right, right. third, yes. and fourth fires come out of? Yes, I used my extremely powerful microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad is an industrial scientist, and he gave me one of their industrial microwaves for doing industrial stuff. Uh, the kind that you use to dry out big piles of wet wood? Yeah, I just put one yeah, of yeah, these yeah. Uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits in there for the normal amount, 45 minutes. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I would do, oh, I would, God. here's the thing, guys, you literally do have to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. You do, it, 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 a ship is safe, is safe in the harbor, but when you take it out to sea, it kicks ass. Yep, <laughs> that's what they say, that old sailor saying. I think it would also be perfect if you could time it so that the microwave dings two seconds after the fire department opens your door. And they're just like looking at him like, can I get, can I get that? Because that ramen's not going to eat itself, you guys. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it was on fire. Not the ramen. I, you know what? I'm going to eat this ramen get out of your way. I'll be in the common room uh, watching Bones because it's always yes. on. What's that? I'm arrested? Uh, that makes sense. Oh, no. Get, wait, you're the fire department. You can, yeah, well, you you're going to go to fire jail. You don't have that jurisdiction. Uh, I bet hey, they do. They have to for arson and stuff. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hey, your RA's a dick. <laughs> if I accidentally set a fire in my house and then somebody came up to me and was like, now sit in your shame. Like, it's already an, uh, I know I fucked up. Like, I set a fire in the place I sleep in. I know I fucked up. I don't need the fire department to come say, did you know you did a fire where you sleep? Thanks, fire guys. I know. All fires are illegal. And so if you started a fire without their blessing, yeah. they will come down on you pretty hard. Yeah. This, hey, RA, listen, I mean. any RA listening, this is your chance to score major points. Because listen, this person is both embarrassed and hungry. You're going to say like, hey, here's five bucks. Go get some food. I'll take this one, Doug. And oh, like, boom, good. right there, you're a hero. You're a hero to Doug sure. who like, there. listen, question asker is a student. Right? They're in that, oh, that's so weird transition between childhood and adulthood. And it's that worst time to tell a fire person that you set fire to a Cheddar Bay biscuit in a microwave. A five-year-old does this. It's fine. They're fine. It's funny. It's funny. A a 45-year-old man sets fire to a cheesy biscuit. He answers to no one. But like a 19-year-old does this, no excuse. And you have to answer to someone. The worst. The worst. I'm sorry. It's hard being young. But there's good parts too. Yeah. Like when you don't overcook the Cheddar Bay biscuit. Just cook them on break. This is a learning experience. I bet you'll never do that Probably. again. Yeah. 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 But maybe, Probably. maybe you twice. might. You might immediately afterwards, according to this question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've learned nothing. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our uh, podcast. I hope you've learned something throughout the course of this experience. 